Hey there, YouTubers! I've got a different kind of video for you today. Um, doesn't really have to do with disabilities at all, but I thought maybe you'd find it interesting. Um, so I'm gonna get right to it. These are not all of the, not even the main toys I had when I was a kid uh, in the mid late eighties, mid late nineteen eighties, and early mid nineteen nineties, um, because. Mostly I played with Lego sets and G.I. Joes and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, stuff like that. Um, these are like other toys, like Happy Meal toys or just like one-off things, knockoffs, st stuff like that. But I thought perhaps you'd be interested in seeing them. And um, the way I found all of these is um, this past summer, or actually... I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, so let me say in the summer of 2020, I helped my mom um, clean and restore uh, my mom and dad's old house. Um, so I found a bunch of these things in my old room, and I thought, hey, it'd be a good idea to do a video about them. So I'm doing it. Let's get right to it. Okay, uh, I'm going to try to tell you a little bit about each thing, but there's some things I don't really know anything about, so... We'll deal with them as they come. Uh, here's the first one. So this is, um, if you can see, it's an ice cream cone that's sort of humanoid. Um, has a face, eyes, and arms, and legs. These were called food fighters. And uh, they were made by Mattel in the late 1980s, uh, according to Wikipedia, 1989. And they didn't really do well. They were kind of a flop. Um, but you can move the arms. You can move the legs. Um, you can, oh, you can even move the hat a little bit. Kind of weird and stupid, but um, <laughs> you can see he has a grenade right here. There we go. It's focusing. Um, anyway, that's that. So I'm going to put that in the bucket that I have right here, and I'll get rid of that tab. Okay, so let's see if I can find... Let's just move on to the next thing, and this is... I don't know if anyone re remembers the show Fraggle Rock. Really cool show. Um, this was a Happy Meal toy... Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Fraggle Rock Pickle Car. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, McDonald's Happy Meal toy, according to eBay, 1988. Uh, and it's Boober and Wembley. Not sure which one's which. I suppose I could look it up real quick. You give me a second. Okay, right, Boober. Boober is the one with the red hair and the hat. So this is Boober, and that must be Wembley. Annie Hoodle. So, pickle pickle car, <laughs> as you can see, and it looks like um, the wheel the wheels on the back move, of course. It looks like they're made out of chocolate chip cookies. I don't know. Anyway, there's that. Um, I guess sticking with Happy Meal toys. So there's I don't I don't really remember this thing. Yeah, so it's called Mac Tonight, and it was a Happy Meal marketing thing during the mid 1980s. Crescent Moon sunglasses, played piano. <laughs> It was a play on Mac the Knife. Um, so, here's one, a car, as you can see. McDonald's logo right there. And there he is, Mac tonight. Crescent moon, sunglasses. Um, there's another one. And so this one, the wheels do work. Um, and this one is a jet ski. And 
I'll just sort of let me move this down so you can see. But he glides. Ah. Move my keyboard out of the way. Move my phone out of the way. Um, he he glides just like you would on a jet ski, I suppose. Uh, okay. Um, so we're done with those two. Mac the knife. No, sorry, Mac, Mac tonight, Mac tonight. And there's one more. So if you can see back here, I've got a whole bunch more. And there's also more over here on my table. Um, gonna try to get to all of them. Gonna try to be quick about it. A Hamburglar. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Hamburglar, Hamburglar race car. You can sort of see it now. And... There he is, the Hamburglar. Um, and this one was a like a wind-up toy. Um, so you'd pull it backwards, and it would it was supposed to move forward, but the wind the, the that function is broken, so it doesn't work anymore. Any hoodle. Um, okay, so might as well move on. I think that's the end of the Happy Meal. Nope. So back when Transformers were first becoming popular, everybody was trying to cash in on that, and McDonald's was one of those corporations that tried to do that. So here are some McDonald's Transformers. So there was a French fry, and you pull that down, his arms would go up, and his head would go up, and there he is, Transformer French fry. And then there was the Burger Transformer. And this says 1988 McDonald's Corporation. So most of these are probably going to be late 80s, early 90s McDonald's stuff. Um, back then we used to go a lot because um, my mom was taking my sister and I to piano lessons, guitar lessons, gymnastics, theater, uh, dance, all, all kinds of different stuff, swim meets and whatnot. So this is the burger transformer. So like we were constantly on the run and getting food um, and getting fast food quite often. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, when we were home, we had regular home cooked meals, but we did a lot of stuff as my sister and I did a lot when we were kids. Um, little cameo there by Rusty. Just trying to decide what to do next. I think that's it for the Happy Meal things, but maybe wrong. Let's move on to Looney Tunes stuff. I've got quite a few Looney Tunes toys here. And these may have actually been... No. Okay, so here's the Roadrunner. Me me. Oh yeah, it says beep beep. I always thought he was saying meep meep, not beep beep. Uh, and of course, Wild E. Coyote. With the Acme rocket on his back. And Yo Samity Sam. So these may have not been like McDonald's things, they might have been Burger King things, they might have been Wendy's things, although the Wendy's things typically do say Wendy's on them. Uh, I suppose they could have also been like Roy Rogers or something like that, or they could have just been not fast food related. Um, Sylvester and Tweety. <laughs> Porky Pig. Be -be 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 That's all, folks. I should have saved this for the end of the video. Um, I should have saved that one for the end of the video, I mean. Bugs Bunny, of course. Alright, so I'm going to put them all in the bucket. Now, let's move on to Gumby. So Gumby was definitely a thing. Let me get rid of some of these tabs, hold on. Gumby was a thing for sure, and I'm 
the oh wow the original Gumby was in the 50s then again in the 60s and then again in the 80s so obviously you know when I saw it, it was the 80s ones and we have Gumby legs move and they're, it's kind of posable but sort of not really uh, it says Jesco T M J E S C O on the back can sort of move the arms a bit also then you've got Pokey his buddy this is less movable it doesn't really I mean it moves but it doesn't really stay where you move it and then we have the G blockhead which I had to look up because I didn't I knew it was something having to do with Gumby but I didn't remember what exactly it was now this one the Gumby says made in Hong Kong. This one says made in Taiwan. Go figure. Anyway, that's that Gumby Pokey and the G Blockhead. Um, so let's move on to Disney Afternoon Stuff. Gummy Bears. Gummy Bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. Um, I loved gum gummy bears back in the day. So this is one of the gummy be gummy bears. I don't remember which gummy bear this is. I suppose I could look it up. And I suppose I will do that. Uh, tummy gummy. This is tummy gummy. I don't, I, I don't really, I remember the show vaguely. I remember liking it a whole lot, but I don't remember any specifics about it. Okay, so this is Baloo from Tailspin. Um, the same Baloo, I believe, from Disney's The Jungle Book. And... Quickly, here's that balloon. So the same same balloon, different timeline, maybe different universe. String theory, I don't know. Going into all wacky stuff. Uh, anywho, so this is just a stationary thing. But I'll show you that that other balloon thing you may do it all I have. If I can go on the right over here. Okay. So this one you wind up and. <laughs> Just kind of moves around and turns around. He's gonna fall off. No, he's not. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, he got stuck. Any hoodle. Oh, now he did fall off. All right. So we'll go back up again. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, putting him in there. Now we have, I think Dale. I think Dale is the one with the red nose. Chip and Dale. This is not focusing. Oh, there we go. Focusing. There we go. Now focus back on me. Cool. Um, Chip and Dale. Dale. Chip and Dale, Dale. Chip and Dale, 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 Dale. I think Dale is the one with the red nose. Yes, he is. Chip is the one with the black nose. Dale is the one with the red nose. Let me get rid of that gummy bear tab. Let me get rid of the G blockhead tab. Okay, so little Dale from Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. He's got the little Hawaiian shirt on. I loved, loved, loved Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers back in the day. Just like all of the Disney afternoon. So, more Disney afternoon stuff. Back here. Okay. We've got Baloo again, this time flying a plane, as he did in Tailspin. Pretty heavy duty, this one. Um, the bottom's plastic, the top is metal. Oh, and, and he moves. 
can move his head. That's neat. Okay. Now we've got more stuff from. Oh wait, this is from Ducktales, Launchpad McQuack. Yeah, baby. Oh man, this is like childhood coming right back to me. Um, and this one, the the propeller moves, the wheels move a little bit. He moves slightly, but not too much there going on. And I don't, I think, I'm pretty sure that these were actually, um, Happy Meal toys. Let's see. They were, um, not, maybe not, m maybe that Launchpad McQuack, maybe not, but the next ones I'm going to show you absolutely were, and this is Dale again, and so in this flying machine, this moves, this moves, and the front moves, so really, really like, a, I mean, this was, these were in Happy Meals, that, how, this is actually a really nice toy. Okay, now we've got another one from Rescue Rangers, and I don't remember this character's name. Gadget. Let's see. Gadget Hack Wrench. She was the the girl on the show. And this is her. And again, this thingy moves around. This thingy moves around. The wheels move around. She does not, but still, really, really nice toy for just a Happy Meal. Okay. Um, let's see what else is back there. I don't, I don't think. So let's continue with not Happy Meals because this is Wendy's coming up, but. So a bunch of these Happy Meal, Wendy's Kids Meal, well, Burger King Meal, whatever toys, um, I have two two of because um, as I mentioned, my sister and I would go lots of places together with my mom, and you know there were two of us, so we'd get two Happy Meals, two Kids Meals, whatever. And we'd end up with two of almost every toy when we when we did that. So these were a set of <coughs> excuse me um, race uh, so sort of like race cars. Here is the Wendy's Burger race car, and the wheels should move, but they don't because um, there's some kind of gunk on the wheels. So. Um, they're just stuck in place. Yeah, I can't really do anything with them. Anyway, burger race car. Um, fry, <laughs> French fry race car. <laughs> um, if you remember, Wendy's, I don't know if they still do, but Wendy's used to have baked potatoes. And that was like, whoa, McDonald's didn't have that, Burger King didn't have that. I don't think Roy Rogers had that, but Wendy's had it. Um, so here is a baked potato race car. A little pat of butter on the top, which I'm not really crazy about. Um, I do like a little sour cream on my baked potato. A little bit. I try not to have it because it's not healthy, but whatever. Um, I just don't particularly like the taste of butter, so I don't do that. Uh, so here is a Wendy's salad race car. And these wheels work. In fact, I'll show you. Before I show you that, so there's two of these, as I mentioned. Some of these, a lot of these we have two for. And this is, oh, it's the Wendy's kids meal race car. Maybe you can see if it 
kid's meal. It says right on the side. Okay, so I'm going to go down here again. <laughs> oh, I did forget that. Oh, well, we'll, we'll go over that. So you pull this back and zoom, 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 it moves. So some of these, the wheels still work. And I didn't pull that one back far enough. Okay. Here's the salad. There we go. Here's the fries. There we go. The baked potato. And as I mentioned, the the hamburger's not working, so we won't worry about that. Alright. I'm back. And now I'm showing you if I can focus properly. I totally forgot Disney Afternoon DuckTales Scrooge McDuck. There we go. Uh, right. Now we'll just go with this thing. Um, oh. Well, that's okay. We'll wait on that. This is just a hammerhead shark. I don't know what this is from or where I got it. Um, hammerhead shark, and you can. Yeah, it just says hammerhead on the inside and GMI, and then it says me. Made in USA. Oh my god, how about that? Wow. A rarity. So you can take it apart and like put stuff inside. Don't really know much about it other than that. Um. <laughs> okay, so... Just random thing, but this is an Ursula from... Disney's the I was going to say the Lion King but that's not even close to being accurate. It's from the Little Mermaid. And this is one of those things that you could like stick on your car or window like window at home, car window, whatever. Um, and back there it sticks to my, Oh, <laughs> it did stick to my hand for a hot second. Let's try this again. Yeah, there we go. Um ah. You really have to stick it some, to something that's completely flat, otherwise it doesn't work too well. Uh, let's go with these things. I don't... They're not... I'm not really even sure what what they are. Um, I think they're just knockoffs of some of, like, Transformer toys. Because they don't actually move or do anything, really. Um, but they look sort of like Transformers. They're just tiny, and there's... One, two, three, four, five. This one feels a little different. Six. It's like made out of different kind of plastic. It says made in Hong Kong. Seven, eight, and nine. Again, not really sure what they are. Um, but they were in there as well. Now, moving right along. So, several. I have several of these. I think there's one back here, too. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, yes, there is. It's a big one. Super Balls. You know these, so obviously... bounce super high and all around and oh I think I'm annoying Rusty with that noise yeah, and here's a bigger one yeah um, so I have five of these in varying sizes uh, anyway oh no one got away from me <laughs> so that's kind of the sucky thing about them is they do tend to do that um, all right, so let's go with this real quick. This is just, I'm, I want to say this was something from a Happy Meal. Um, 
Beetlejuice. I'm sorry, Beetlejuice, or Beetle. It's a it's a Beetlejuice thing. I've I've never actually seen Beetlejuice, but apparently when that movie was popular, these were in Happy Meals, or kids meals, or whatever meals. Okay, I don't know where these came from either. Um, I don't know if these were just little toys that I got from a store or Happy Meal or something, but Batman stuff. So here we go, Batman. And the Joker. And the Penguin. That's all of that. Let's move on. All right, so these were probably... Happy Meal toys, but I'm, or Kids Meal toys, or whatever. I don't remember exactly, um, but you know what? Maybe it says on the bottom. Wendy's. Okay, these were Wendy's toys. We kind of liked Wendy's more than McDonald's, Burger King, whatnot back in the day. Um, because we felt their food was better. I mean, as far as fast food goes, no fast food is really that good. Um, but any hoodle doodle. All dogs go to heaven. I, I, a Don Bluth movie in competition with Disney. Uh, he was a Disney animator and then broke off and formed his own uh, animation company. So, here we go. Toys from that. Ba, 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 ba. Let's... I'm going to do this Disney thingy next. So, it's a... Donald Duck. But the cool thing about this Donald Duck is that he walks and he waddles. So I'm going to show you that. So you wind him up. And I got to give him a little help. Well, he was doing it before. <laughs> So you see how the feet are... Oh, he might just be worn out. Yeah. Anyway, um, he, he would waddle like this back and forth, but of course now that I'm doing the video, he doesn't want to do it. I'm back. Okay. Um... Do these two things right now. Thank you for staying with me this whole time. If you're still here, almost 30 minutes. Won't be too, too much longer, but, well, maybe. I got a, quite a few things to do on the back. Um, so, two M&M thingies. I don't really know what this is from. Oh, maybe it was the top to, like, a big candy cane type M&M thing. That must be, that's probably what it was. Um... This, if you see the back, it, it was like a clever little package design for M&M's. The M&M's were in here, and then you went like this, take them out, went like that, close it back up again. Pretty cool. Uh, Snorks. Anyone remember Snorks? I don't particularly remember watching the show, but this is one of the characters from it. Because it was like having a snorkel. <laughs> okay, let me close Gadget Hack Wrench. Let me close Snorks. Uh, okay, let's move on. Oh, and I can close All Dogs Go to Heaven, too. See, I was somewhat prepared for this video. Um, so we'll just move on to this real quick. California Raisin. Don't know why I have it. Um... 1987, made in China, California raisins, yeah. Maybe it was a Happy Meal, Kids Meal thing? I don't, I don't really know. Um, I have some other rolly toys that I don't... This was some kind of animated TV show or movie. I really don't know what it was. Late, late 80s, I'm assuming. Possibly early 90s, but more than likely late 80s. Um, give you another look at it, and please, if you know what any of these things are, or are from, that I'm not sure about, 
um, please comment or like send me a message and say, hey, I know what that is. This, I... Okay, this was a Wendy's toy. Hanna-Barbera. I don't know who this character is, though. Some kind of bear riding a... It's like riding a, one of those scooter thingies that you pedal. Uh, okay. Baby Kermit. Again, no idea where I got this from. It's cute, though. Okay, let me do these things real quick. So these were actually from flashlights. They were flashlight covers, or maybe even... I think they were flashlight covers, but possibly nightlight covers. And I thought these two were the same, but they're not. They're both Mickey, but this one, this one has a red mouth, and this one doesn't. So basically, if you can see, you could see through the eyes, and you'd put the flashlight in there, and then it would show the outline of the face. And there was also one of these, a Donald one. So kind of cool. Kind of a little, I mean, without the flashlight thing, it could be a little creepy because the eyes and the mouth are missing, but whatevs. Um, on that note, here's... Wizard Mickey from Fantasia. And this isn't Disney related, but it's, um... Wow, 1982. Yeah. Um... Oh, no way. I just... Uh, sorry. Um, I just saw something on the website that I didn't notice before that I had open. Um, so Oscar the Grouch, of course from Sesame Street. Let's see if that... Oh, it is! No way! So I had a website open for this toy, which is another walking toy, and I'll show you this real quick. So you wind him up. His glasses broke. They're supposed to be like this, but they're not. But this one actually does walk. And it's made by a, a company called T-O-M-Y. I'm not sure what it's what the toy is really called because I tried to find some information on it. Sometimes they call it t peepers, wind-up, walking, binoculars. It's hard to really tell. Um, but pretty, pretty neat. And then, so on that website, I just noticed that this other toy was on there. Wind-up boat. Um, so this is, like those other toys, you pull it back, and it moves, oh, and the propeller in the back even moves, um, but this, it's made by the same company, T-O-M-Y, so that's kind of cool, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but. Yeah, there we go, T-O-M-Y. They're neat. Okay, I'm back again. Oh my gosh, it's such a long video. I'll try to get faster. Okay, so let's move on to these things. Micro machines. Actually, I don't know. I don't think they're micro machines. I think they're, well, some of them might be, but some of them might be micro machine knockoffs. So here's like a, um, I'm forgetting, like a tractor trailer, a cabin semi, I, what, 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 oh, I brain fart, the name is escaping me. Anyway, um, there's that. Then we have a little, little race car, cute. And we have a, an old-timey car with, like, a rumble seat in the back, also cute. 
And then we've got a SWAT, a police SWAT vehicle. SWAT. It says police. And this one on the bottom, it says microsonic flashers. And there's something else that says majorette, I think. Oh, it, oh, maybe I can look that up. Microsonic flashers. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. So these were like a competitor to micro machines, basically. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, I can close that. I can close the Tommy Peepers thing. Put that up here. Okay, so now there's two planes that are, I think, from the same kind of toy line. A biplane. Kind of cool. And a jet fighter. Also cool. And then there's this, this is not the same kind of toy, I mean, it's not the same brand, but it's similar. It's plastic, though, I'm not really sure what it's from. Uh, anywho, I always like those tiny little toys, those are so cool. Alright, so then I've got two plastic airplanes, they're just kind of generic things, I don't really know what they're from red one and a white one. They don't say anything on them, so don't really have any information to go on. And I need to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to pause real quick. And I'm back. Okay, so let's do these clackers, noisemakers. There's a few different names for these. I just call it clacker because Basically, I'm out of focus. Oh, there we go. So, kind of weird, kind of dumb. Just basically to make noise and annoy your parents. Okay, moving on. So, I didn't do this, but there was another toy, like... There's there's no information. This one says Graphics International, made in China, 1989. It doesn't say McDonald's. It doesn't say Burger King. It doesn't say Wendy's, Roy Rogers, anything like that. It looks like egg, ham, and cheese on a croissant. I don't really know what it is, where it's from. Let's put it back in the bucket there. Okay, so... This, I really don't know what it is because, well, it says, oh, it says Parker Brothers, so I'm, I guess it, maybe it was to a board game? It's de It definitely goes to something, I just don't know what. It's a, it's going to say a surfboard, but it's not a surfboard, it's a skateboard. Um, don't know what it goes to. Oh, so there's, this is really cool, actually. It's a, it's a puppet, basically. Um, so it's a seahorse puppet. Sammy, Sammy Seahorse, and it's from Burger King. Uh, really cool, I, I think. You know, kind of a departure from other Happy Meal, Kids Meal toy thingies. Um, any hoodle. Uh, back to gummy bears. This is like, um... something you'd put on a projector, but you could color it. You see, I, I, either my sister or I, um, sorry, either my, me or my sister had colored it. No, I was right. My sister or I, I don't know. I can, whatever. <laughs> um, one of us colored it, part of it over here, and then the other part we didn't. So... Anyway, that, kind of a neat thing. Um, 
It just says Walt Disney Productions on it. I don't know. I'm assuming this was also something in a kid's meal, Happy Meal, but it's kind of big for that, so maybe not. Not really sure. Um, we have, what do we have here? It's it's just it's just Snoopy. I don't know why he's wearing this kind of hat. I don't know where it's from. How how I got it. All right. So this another plane we have, and it's. Toy plane, just plain, pretty generic plastic yellow toy plane. Does say Lufthansa on it, so I'm assuming that. Uh, so back back in the day, I I never, I mean, I only flew once or twice when I was a kid. Um, my 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 dad maybe did more often, but more than likely this came from friends of ours who used to travel to Europe um, every year or twice a year or something like that. I'm assuming that's how I'm assuming that's how I got it. But I can't be sure. Um this thingy, I'm I do not know what it is. Some kind of alien or sea creature or something. It turns and you can take the top off. Don't really know why. Don't really know it says Taiwan on the bottom. Other than that, I don't know much about it. It almost looks like something that would have been in the video game Metroid, though. Anyway. Okay, so... I don't really know if it was, like, a, a line of toys, like, specifically meant for kids or anything, but there were these little craft bears that my sister and I used to play with, and you could build, a, like, a whole craft town and a house a town and like everything with them and I believe this was one of them but I'm not positive this may have been a little toy bear from something else but he has a baseball cap on if it's gonna focus I don't think it's gonna focus oh there oh sort of oh, yeah baseball cap on and a bat and a ball so again I'm not sure if that was the craft bear thingy or another bear thingy but um if you'll just bear with me, there's a little bit more to go. <laughs> this thing. Squeezy ball. It's got a face. Um, I, I kind of thought that this went with it, but it doesn't quite fit properly. Yeah. It looks like it could, but mm, it doesn't... I feel like it would fit better if it did. But... There's some, there's definitely something else that goes, that this goes to. I just don't know what it is. Uh, okay, let's do these. No, let's. Do this. Just a little yellow toy boat. I'm uh, pretty sure it floats. Um, but there's not much to it other than that. Moving on. Um, um, so there was this pair of toy binoculars that I found, and they actually they actually work really well. Um, and I found a toy, actually a Ducktales toy. I think it was Ducktales. Maybe it was Tailspin toy magnifying glass. But I don't have it right now because um, I was using it for something and then the thing that I was using it for got put away and now I don't have it. So anyway, it was, um, you kind of opened it up and then you could close it and it had a cover over it. It was pretty, pretty neat. So, okay. Done with that. Now this is a stand for either... A G.I. Joe, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, something else similar. I'm not sure, but I know it goes to something like that. <laughs> this, again, goes to some kind of action figure. It's a backpack. Um, don't really know much about it other than that. I found some letters. I'm sure there's more in my room, but I found some. Um, 
magnet letter letter magnets so you can see there's magnets on the back but the only letters I found were B M W like the car um, but then I also found the letter O So B M W O or O M W B. Um, then there were these. So these are not really these are not toys. Um, they're erasers, little heart eraser. So cute. A little American flag eraser, also cute, and. A wrench eraser and it says it even says wrench eraser on it wrench eraser there you go cute 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 um, oh gosh my other eraser things so I've got like a big um, thing of erasers that I can put them in can't I can't get to it now it's behind my monitor uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, some some more things that go to action figures that I'm not really sure what what action figures they go to are. Um, GI Joe, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, something else along those lines. He Man, I had some He Man action figures. Backpack, two backpacks. Then I have some stuff that I know for sure go to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Two size. Uh, and this, this thingy, I forget what, I want to call this, there's several different names, it reminds me of a, a weapon that the assassin would use in the video game Diablo 2, if you've played that, also this is a similar weapon, and a throwing star and then I believe this was a, a katana but it's broken hmm. I think this was one of shredder the things on shredders elbow or not elbow um, shoulders like went here okay so this goes to a, a Batman action figure I had, a little Batarang. I, I want to, I feel like this is a hat for the Joker or something like that. I'm not sure. Here's a, this might be a G.I. Joe hat. Looks about the right size. Okay. Now this, I gotta get something over here. So this I think is a Fisher Price. Oh it oh it bends. How do you like that? Fisher Price Pirate. There we go. His pirate hat. And I can find it. Oh no, it's over here. At least I thought it oh yeah, there it is. Fisher Price Pirate Hat and his pirate sword which goes in his little sheath there okay um sticking with action figure type thingy madoodles there's this this i believe i want to say went to teenage mutant ninja turtle turtles in time the third movie because it's like old school style um, but I'm not sure. I think my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joes are up in the attic here, but I'm not going to be able to get to them this year because I'm going back down to Florida soon. So, Little Green Army Man, pretty simple. 
And although this looked like an army man at first, it's not. It's it's like an ape thingy. And I think it was meant to... No, no, no. Um, yeah. Kind of like King Kong or something like that. I'm not really sure. It's not going to focus, is it? No. Oh, wait, it started to. Anyway. So now I have three fishy type thingies. Don't, I don't know where I got these from. A blue sort of fishy thing. And I just missed the bucket. Uh, this one is seems to be a dolphin. And this one is a cute, cute little white and yellow fishy. Again, I don't know why I have them, where they came from. Okay, so... Oh boy. Four inch spanner. Toy. <laughs> it doesn't even move at all. From a toy um, playset. Okay, so this is. Oh, this goes to that Fisher Price pirate thingy. A gun. Oh, that's cool. Let me get one back now. So, yeah. Oh, he doesn't, his arms don't really move around that well. Oh, 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 there we go. Aha! There we go, holding this toy gun. So now, might as well do these. These were like little neon color bracelets. Kind of cool. Then there's this other bracelet funky color, probably early 90s, it's so, it looks very 90s to me, but you could, uh, there was Velcro on it, and you could put it on that way. Then there's another one of those Velcro bracelets, and it says my name on it, Joseph. See, Velcro again. And then there's one of these bracelets, which you could tighten by, or tighten or loosen by doing this. Kind of neat. Um, okay. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Keychain. With the best turtle of them all on it, Raphael. Hell yeah. Best turtle ever. Okay. I don't know what this is. I don't know where I got it. Girl holding a camera and a flash. Um, a very large spiky thing. Has to go to something else. Um, McDonald Land hockey puck. A puck, hockey stick. It's not a hockey puck. What am I talking about? Uh, <laughs> this isn't really a toy, but it's a, I think, I think these are called barrettes. Oh, gosh. Um, so it's probably my sister's, uh, but it's rainbow colored. I'm going to keep that out. And I'm going to pause once more. Okay, I'm going to try to go a bit faster, because it's getting very late. Um... Grimace ring. Not really sure why it's green though, because Grimace isn't green. Either. Um. Yeah. Don't know why it's green, but it is. So that's that. This thing, I'm not really sh I, Some kind of animated thing. Uh, but I can't remember. Star. It's got a star. I, I I feel like this was a thing that my sister was really into, but I can't remember what they were called. Okay, so here is a mini, 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 mini koosh ball. Really tiny. And, okay, so these were Wendy's toys. 
Oh gosh, we're, we're almost, we're getting close to being done. George Jetson with the wheels on the bottom. Mr. Spacely with wheels on the bottom and, oh gosh, gosh, almost dropped. I did drop them, uh, one of them. Two of them, of course, one for my sister and one for me. Uh, those three were Wendy's toys. This one, which is George Jetson, it doesn't say Wendy's on it, so I'm not really sure. The other ones did say Wendy's on it. Um, but anyway, it's another Jetsons thingy. Okay. Now we have do have some Micro Machines toys, but they're planes or uh, space shuttles. This one, I, th I, th I think there was something else that went to this one. I don't have the back part, um, but the stickers, the sticker says Micro Machines on it. And then here's Super Sky Carrier Micro Machine. Oh, it's upside down, but yeah, there we go. Uh, and then a second one. So I had two of them for whatever reason. Pretty sure my sister did not play with Micro Machines, so I don't know why I had two of those. So this is another Happy Meal toy. It's a fry guy. And for some reason wearing a, a nighttime hat. Anyway, moving on. This is, I feel, it, I feel like this is a, this is Goofy from Disney. But I feel like this is like supposed to be a, a Christmas tree ornament. Not really sh sure why else this would be on it. But maybe I'm wrong. And then these. So these are thingies, again, you could put on your car window or house window or whatever. Um, and they, they're some kind of... I, I don't know who this cartoon... Thing he is, it, it's a bull. It appears to be a bull, a superhero bull. Not really sure who. And I just tried to, yeah, it's not gonna do it. It's too small. Um, but that's what these suction cups are for on the back. And one time when I was a kid, I did this. Right. So I suction, I stuck a suction cup to my head. Only I stuck it to my head for too long, and I had a big red spot on my head for like days oh my god it was so embarrassing of course i was like six or something so whatever how how embarrassed can you get when you're six okay uh this i do not know oh, so many of these say applause on them so it's a uh, some kind of alien thingy and i you can turn them backwards and all around. I don't know where I got it. Don't know where it's from. I'm sure there's more of a story behind it somewhere. Okay, getting, getting, getting close. So two, of course, two, and these were Nintendo of America. I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming these were, this was a Ninten when Nintendo was really, really big, Mario and whatnot. <clears throat> I'm assuming these were McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King or something like that, but I don't have, I, I, I can't say for sure. So two Mario ones, two Luigi ones, and I'll show you the Mari Mario ones first. So basically what you do, <coughs> excuse me is stick this, the suction cup is here, and then you put it on here, and if you do it right, yeah, if you do it right, okay, watch, I didn't <laughs> keep screwing it up, it'll jump up, 
like that. Um, and let me put the camera down a little bit more so you can see it better. <laughs> anyway, so that's what those do. And then, let me put the camera down even more. Not on my garbage. But see, these, so these Luigi ones are ones that you pull back also. Oh, I'm pulling it the wrong way, so. The ones that you pull back also, and then, well, hold on. They turn around when you, you let them forward. Do it the right way. Anyway, kind of cool. All right, we are over an hour. I'm amazed if you're still watching. Okay, so. Little baseball helmets, Yankees, Mets. Cool, because that's where I grew up. Not in New York, but close to New York. Uh, right. Oh, so here's more Disney toys. So this is Ka from the Jungle Book. Two of them, of course. And they do wind up, but the wind the windy thing is broken. So it's supposed to go the head's supposed to go back and forth like this while the wheels go move forward, but both of them are not working, so Yep. Anyways. Here's also a sheer con. Now this one's actually kinda cool and it does still work. So I'll show you this one. Sheer Khan. So he jumps. And then he moves forward a little bit and he jumps. Anyways. Okay. Raphael things because Raphael is the best turtle ever. I don't know why I have two. My sister didn't like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, but one is missing, so it's got the suction cup on the back again. So can't suction. Maybe I can maybe I can Yeah, there we go. Um This one doesn't have it. I don't know why. Just missing. Another plane. This one's actually really heavy duty. United States Air Force it has on it. Uh, matchbox. Oh, wow. Okay. It says Matchbox on, on the bottom. Did not realize that. Let me see if we can zoom in on that. No? You can sort of see it over here. So that's kind of cool. Alright. I think this is part of that Fisher Price Pirates Lego or Lego Fisher Price Pirates ship. But I don't have the rest of it. These are kind of cool. So cars, but are they cars or are they <laughs> can't even do it properly? Are they cars or are they pens? They're pens. I don't think either one of them still writes though. Because, you know, this stuff is old. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> one of them does still write, and it's red ink. That's so cool. The other one does not. Yes, it does. Ah! It's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love them. I 
don't know. Wait a second. I think these were, yes, <gasps> Wendy's. If you can see. Well, there we go, Wendy's. So that's really, an, again, another, another really cool Happy Meal Kids Meal toy. A, 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 a pen that's also a car. Cool stuff. Here we go, Pinocchio, or Pinocchio, as most people say. It's one of these thingies, so you push this, and then he goes back, and then you push it, and then he goes back, and then you push it again, and that's pretty much all he does. <laughs> that was the Shere Khan toy. Okay, so a yo-yo, and I've never, ever been, I've never been able to do this stuff you do the yo-yo thing, I'm just freaking terrible at it, um, and the, the thing for your finger is gone, so I was going to try to, well, give it a whirl, um, okay, here we go, ready, want to see how bad this is going to be, here's how bad it's going to be, <laughs> I do not have the technique for working a yo-yo, um, Kind of cool color though, right? Don't know what this is. I mean, I know what it is. It's a heart with hands and arms and legs and feet and hands. And I don't know where I got it from though. Okay, moving on. Uh, might as well do this. So this is a really cool top. As you can see, it's it's uh, sparkly and glowy. And I'll just show you real quick. Try to. Okay, here we go. Anyway, looks looks kind of cool. But that's enough. For <laughs> Almost fell. That's enough for that. Um, okay. Two small, they appear to be frisbees, I guess. They're quite dirty still, even though I've washed them several times. Um, I don't know if they're from, if they're just standalone things, or if they were from the game or something. Now this is, this, I, I, I remember these, but, oh, Made in Macau. Whoa. That's cool. <clears throat> um, I don't rem, I remember these, but I don't remember... I don't remember what they were called. I feel like there was some kind of thing that was similar to Transformers, but I can't remember exactly. Um, the legs move. As you saw, the head moves. Even the jaw, you can op open and close. The tail moves. Um, so if anyone is still watching and can tell me what that toy line or thing is, that would be really awesome. <clears throat> I would appreciate it. This, I don't know what this is from. Some type of crocodile um, on, and there's writing there. I can't see what it says. Uh, on water skis, or or possibly regular skis, I, hard to tell. Although, considering it's a crocodile, I, I would assume it's water skis. And it has a hole on the top of its head, so I'm kind of assuming that something, you could put something in there. Anyways... So this thing is kind of cool, but I couldn't find any more information on it. Uh, I I looked for quite a while, and it's it says on it swamp pets. So like you could do different things with it. Um, it works as like a bracelet almost, 
if you wanted to do this and you can get it to go all the way around but it's it's kind of tough but also you can so what I meant was like you can make it go like that it like connects to itself but then there is this other piece um, which has the same kind of head different color so I'm assuming I'm missing the other part of this so I just put it on here but I couldn't find any more information on it anywhere so let me know if you know anything about it this you you won't be able to tell but it's a really tiny um, kaleidoscope so look in here and then look up towards light and move the thingy on the front and the picture changes okay we got pirate goofy you hook so you can see he's got an earring in his ear and he's wearing a like stereotypical pirate shirt <laughs> I think this is like okay, so this is gonna be really weird, but no, I thought it was Amico. It's not Chevron, maybe. Yes, so it's a Chevron Man action figure. <laughs> go, f go figure, huh? Arms move, head moves, legs move, um, and. You can see the Chevron logo right up here on his chest. Um, I would assume this had something to do with... I don't think this would have been bought in a store, but maybe. I would think that it was probably um, like some kind of deal with the gas station when you would get gas somewhere or something. I like. I don't know. Um, any hoodle doodles. I don't know where this came from. It's a sailor. I like it because my dad was in the Navy. Um, not much. Uh, again, arms move, legs move, head moves a little bit. Not much to say about it other than that. I'm going to stick it up here on my... Yeah, there we go. Okay, on my shelf. Another action figure accessory that I'm not really sure what goes to. Must have been something huge though, huh? Another another biplane. Just really cheapy toy. So now these more like spacecrafts um There's three of them, this yellow one, and then two sort of orange ones, um, and they're super cheapy, like super duper ultra cheap plastic. Um, I believe they were prizes for, so there was like a summer reading club that, that my mom had my sister and I do when we were kids. And if you read, you know, the books you were supposed to read, they would give you prizes. And I'm pretty sure that these cheapy, you know, spacecrafts were uh, some of the prizes. Um, of course, because I'm a boy, I chose those. Well, I guess, you know, not all boys would choose them, but I did. Uh, I, I guess they probably had other toys for for girls, although some girls could choose them. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I did have a tiny little ring that I found. Uh, actually, a couple, but I I packed them for my trip down south already. But they were cool. Um, cloth rings, really neat. Here's another ring. Little lizard or gecko or something. Hmm. Um...
just a tiger, I guess. It looks like a Bengal tiger, but the stripes are worn off. Cheapy plastic and a horse also. Cheapy plastic. Oh, this says Burger King on it, but it's missing something. There's, there's something that's supposed to go here. I do not know what it is. Maybe it's one of the things I already showed you and did not realize. But the back says Burger King. 1990 Burger King. Okay. Don't know what either of these things are. Some kind of weird duck thingy. This has a wheel, and the wheel is heavy. It feels like, almost feels like stone, or some kind of heavy metal. Um, not really sure what it's supposed to be. It looks like maybe a hippopotamus or something. I did try to do it on my desk earlier, and it scratched up the surface, so I'm not going to do that again. All right, now this is actually really cool. Um, so it's a... Uh, Donald Duck wearing a life preserver on a surfboard. <coughs> Excuse me. And it floats, and you can actually propel it in the water because this rubber band here, which is like 30, 35 years old or something. Um, so you do that, and then go like that, and it would propel itself in the water by doing that. So it's, you know, a toy to use in the tub if you wanted to. Pretty cool. All right. There was also this. It's um. Is that like a harmonica? Not really a harmonica. I'm not. Not really sure. Some kind of wind instrument. I don't want to. I don't really want to put my mouth on it because I've washed it multiple times, but I'm still kind of a little. Um, feeling sketchy about that, so I'm not going to do that. And then, um, so I'll just bring these over here for right now, because it's the only thing left. And these are just basic, your basic cars, toy cars. So these say Stomper on them. One, two... Three, four, five, and then there's these met. Those are plastic. And then there's these metal ones. This one, like a minivan, it says bowl on it. This one <laughs> says Getty on it. This one I think is supposed to be a Corvette. Another one, another one, <laughs> this one is a Porsche race car, and then there's this, this one, which I'm not sure what style it's supposed to be, it says, oh, it says, oh, it's a Volk, it's a Vol Volkswagen. And this one also scratched up my desk, so I'm not going to play with that one either. Um, Majorette. Oh, these made in France. Oh, that's oh, it's a Pontiac. Made in China. Hot Wheels Camaro. Hmm. Anyway, and then. Last but not least, a little dinosaur. It's supposed to be a Triceratops, but it only has two horns instead of three. And then this little cutie dino also. All right. Oh, gosh. Thank you so much for staying with me this whole time if you're still here. Um, and thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications, and be sure to stay safe out there.